Hi everyone. Good evening. I'm sorry I have I was having problems with my computer. So I'm sorry, but now I finally can open the, the meeting. Hi, Marce, welcome. Nice to see you again. Mario, Marisela. Hello. Hi, Rina. Good evening. Welcome, Hi, everyone. How are you today? Hi, teacher. How are you feeling? Good. Yes, okay. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day at work, Rina? Did you work a lot today? Trabajo bastante ahora, Rina. Did you work a lot? You did. Sí, igual acabo de venir de jugar fútbol. Ah, okay. You like to play soccer. Do you play uh, yeah. every week? Todas las semanas. Juega. Los viernes. Los viernes. Fridays. Okay, yeah. that's nice. Very good. And Maris, you. you're welcome. Maricela, what about you? How are you feeling? How are you feeling today? Ya no se siente mal, Maricela. Ya recuperándome un poquito más. Sí. Ya estoy más mejor. Ah, okay. Más mejor que ayer. Okay. And do you have a headache? No tiene dolor de cabeza ni nada. Eso me queda dolor de cabeza y un poquito dolor de cuerpo. Ah, uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's normal. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow it's going to be better. Tal vez ya mañana ya no va a sentir ya mucho. The change. Primero Dios. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi, Mario. Nice to see you. Nelson, welcome as well. So we have Nelson, Nelson Alberto. Hi, Katia. Hello. So, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance really quick, and then we we continue. So, Daisy Yesenia, Doris de Castaneda, Iris Cañas, Jennifer Marcel. Present. Thank you, Jose Mario. Present. Thank you. Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Now, Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Castaneda. Minette Rivera. Nehemías Regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson René Guevara. Nelson. I'm sorry, Nelson Alberto. Nelson Alberto Aguilar. Yes, no. Ah, okay, thank you. Yes. And then Rafael, Rafael Antonio, eh, René Guardado. Present. Thank you. Rina Aurora, sorry, Rina Aura. Aurora. Present, thank you. Aurora. 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 Ahora, right? <laughs> ya le cambié el nombre. <laughs> ok. Rosy, Rosy Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Antonio. Yanira Cepeda. En Zulma. Thank you. En Zulma López. Ok. All right. So now that you guys are here, please think about a celebrity. Choose a celebrity. It could be a singer, an actress, actor, rock star, athlete. It could be anybody. Okay, choose one celebrity and send the information to me by chat. Okay, send that to me by chat. Think about one celebrity. Piensen en alguien uh, famoso, a famous or popular person. Now, if you are a lady, think about a lady. If you are a boy or a man, think about a man, okay? So think about someone of the same sex as you. Okay, alguien de su mismo sexo. And send it to me. Recuerden de enviármelo a mí cuando ya hayan escogido a alguien.
Uh, René? Hi, teacher. I'm sorry about my camera. I still going through with problems with my phone. Pretty much I need just to hard reset the device uh, to make it that one works. So by Monday, I for sure I will have the camera on. Okay, Jane. Thank you for letting me know. Sure. I understand. Okay, Katia. Thank you. Maricela, ya tiene su persona, su famoso. Tina, Nehemías. Eh, Mario, think about another one. Choose a different one. Porque creo que ese no lo conocen muchos. So choose, choose another one. Marcela, the same. Think about another one. Yanni, ready? Rosy. Okay, all right, so we are going to start. We are going to imagine that you guys are the person you mentioned. Vamos a hacer de caso que ustedes son la persona que escogieron, okay? You are that celebrity in that moment. And your classmates are going to ask you questions, okay? Sus compañeros les van a hacer preguntas. And, but you are not, you are not Rosy Melendez, you're the person that you mentioned. For example, Katia, you are not Katia right now. You're going to be Ariana Grande, okay? So we have Ariana Grande in the group. And we also have Angelina Jolie, we have Jean Carey, we have many famous people in the class. So please ask Katia questions. Using present, simple present, think about questions you could ask Ariana Grande. Utilizando simple present, ¿verdad? El, el tiempo que estamos practicando, Pregúntenle a Katia algo que le preguntarían a Ariana Grande. And she is going to tell you. Ella les va a contar un poquito más de su vida. So, who is ready? We will, we will give them some time, Katia. Vamos a esperar un ratito and then le vamos a hacer una entrevista, Katia, in the class. René, so are you ready? To ask her. Um, mm -hmm. something about okay so are you a singer yes i am <laughs> uh -huh. okay correct do you do you like to give concerts all the time yes i like i like, like. okay all right good Nehemiah. Or Nelson, questions for Ariana Grande? Or you, Marce, questions for her? Rosy, Maricela? Why do you like to sing? Mm, okay, that's a big question. Why do you like? to sing, Katia. Well, sorry, uh, Ariana, <laughs> Ariana Grande. <laughs> because um, I think, I think, ¿cómo se dice desde pequeña? Since I was little, since uh, I was little. Because I think I was little. Mm -hmm. Okay, that could be a good reason. Uh, Nehemia, so you have your question, your question for her. No, not yet. And you, Nelson, do you have your question? Nelson Aguirre. Yes, of course, I don't know. No. I don't have any questions. No, okay. What about you, Mario? Do you have the question? Yes. Uh huh. What is the question? What did you like to do on your day off? Mm -hmm. 
No entendí, perdón. Repeat, Mario. What would you like to do on your days off? No. What do you like? Day, day off is when you don't when you don't work, when you day, rest. Day off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um I like staying home with my pets. With your pets. How many pets do you have? I think three dogs. Three okay. dogs. Ah, okay. Okay, Katia, thank you. Let's continue with Angelina Jolie. That is another important and famous person. So, Rosy, Rosy is Angelina Jolie in the next minutes. Can you think about questions for Angelina Jolie? At least one, guys. At least one question. Using do or does or the verb be? Perdón, que casi no le entiendo. Ah, Tengo okay. fallas con el inter. Ok. Y ahorita me escucha bien. Yes. No. Um, in the chat. I will send it in the chat. Rosy. Sí, sí, cortado. Creo ah. que se escucha cortado. Okay, so maybe in that case we will continue with somebody else because Rosie doesn't hear well. René, who, who is the person you chose? Did you choose, oh yes, Jim, Jim Carrey, right? But I don't know who he is. Do you, you guys? Know. I really? It he oh, it on. sounds it sounds actor. familiar, an actor. but I'm going to look for him right now because <laughs> I just with the name I don't know who he is. Oh, come on, you never <laughs> see Ace Ventura? No. Ah, okay, okay, I the know mask? who he is. Yes, yes, I saw the mask, but I don't really like his movies that much. So, but Why? yeah, I, I don't know. I don't find him as funny as he think he is. I don't know. So I think really? he, he acts like too much. Okay, but we have here Jim Carrey, <laughs> so we can ask him questions. Think about one. Traten de por lo menos crear una. A question for Jim Carrey. Why do you like to act? Thank you, Rina. Um, what I like. Uh, I Why think that do is, you like? Uh, act that's act the act. best way to express my my feelings. Um, mm -hmm. For example, acting for me is like something for me is just natural because I can be myself when I try to to do to to interpret that. I don't remember how this is the interpret. Interpret um uh, and a person on a different movie so 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 that's why I like it because I can express myself. Excellent. Thank you. Who is next? What is, uh -huh. see, what is your favorite movie? Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite movie, I think that I can say that is The Mask. That's my favorite movie. Um, well, mm, that is a hard one, you know, because mm -hmm. the, 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 the one of the, the 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 best comedies that that I remember that I saw for this actor was Liar Liar. So mm. I think that that's definitely is is, is the, the, the my favorite movie. Okay. 
All right, thank you. Who is next? One, one more question for Jim, Jim Carrey. What is your favorite sport? Uh -huh, okay. My favorite sport, um, uh, I can think that is golf. Why golf? Because it's relaxing, it's uh, something that you can enjoy for hours and you don't need to run uh, with, um, to try to catch a ball, for example, is something uh, more, is, um, how can I say, no requiere mucho esfuerzo. It doesn't require too much effort to, to, mm -hmm. to, to actually enjoy the, this, this, this sport. Okay. Thank you, René. Because of the time, we won't continue. Maybe tomorrow we continue with the second part and the other celebrities that we have in the class. But thank you for asking the questions. You elaborated them in the right way. So, hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, oh my God. Good night, Rafa. Welcome. Uh, we were having an activity, but we will continue. Um, just one question, Nelson Alberto. Can I call you Alberto? Is that okay with you? Hi, teacher. Uh, only I have a question now. Uh -huh. uh, we have was a group. No. Yes, yes. Um, no, it's not. My, my first class, yes. Okay, all right. Yes, Nelson. Uh, tell, me, uh, tell me, please, Link. I will, I will. Ya se lo mando, ya lo busco y se lo mando ahí. ¿Quién más no okay. está en el grupo todavía? So, ah, Mario, tampoco, Mario. ¿Y Rafa? No, Rafa sí. Sí, sí. Ah, okay. Ok, ya se los mando ahí en el chat y, y solo lo, lo pegan o lo copian. Thank you. Ok, Nelson, yo, tenemos a usted y a, a Nelson René. ¿Le puedo llamar Alberto? ¿Es that ok with you? No, no problema. Ok, así no, okay. Nos, no nos confundimos. Ok, so Alberto. All right, guys, let's, let's continue. I'm going to share with you the book. We're going to work there. <clears throat> One moment. Okay, um, we are going to listen or read this conversation first to practice a little bit pronunciation. Okay, it's very short. It says, well, Sonia and Matt, what does Dominique do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types, reports, and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. 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 Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. First, no peers. First. Okay, now it is your turn. We're going to start with Nehemias and Katia. Nehemias, you are Matt, and Katia, you are Sonia. Okay, go okay. ahead, guys. What does Dominic do? Well, he's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, uh, she types reports and send email every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you, Nehemias. Thank you, Katia. Good pronunciation. Let's continue with Rosie and Nelson. Rosie, you are Sonia. And Nelson, Matt. Okay. What does what does Dominic do? Well, well. Sorry. Ah, sorry, es, es, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Alberto. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, bye. Uh, well, she's a secretary. Mm -hmm. eh, Rosy, cuando termine de comentar, si puede, por favor, le pone mute. Mute a su, a su micrófono, please. Go ahead, continue. Just activate the microphone, Rosy. Active su, su micrófono de nuevo. Okay. Oh, I see what does she do every day exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see your point. Well, she time report and send a mail every day. She is a hard, a hard working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is the first second to arrive in the office. Okay, thank you, Rosy, and thank you, Nelson. This one is arrive. Can you say it again, Nelson? Arrive. Arrive. Uh -huh. Correct. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now let's continue with Rafa and Jani. Rafa, Matt, Jani, Sonia. Okay. Okay. What does Dominique do? Dominique do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is first person to arrive in the office. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, guys. Good pronunciation, both of you. Let's continue, Rene and Rina. Rene, you are Matt. Rina, Sonia. <laughs> What does Dominic, Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Um, well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Arrive early. Arrive. Arrive. Yeah, uh, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, thank you guys. Let's continue with, let me see. Okay, Alberto. Alberto and Marisela. Alberto, you are Matt, and Marisela, you will be Sonia. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types report and sends email every day. Every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she absolutely does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the that she's the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, thank you, Nelson and Marisela. So Marisela, can you say it one more time? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Let's continue. Marce. Marce and Mario. 
Marce, Sonia, Mario, Matt. What does Dominic do? Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, see your point. Where she type reports and sends email every day. She is a homeworking woman. Absolutely. Does she try early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Hay alguien que se haya quedado sin leer? No. No, we're fine. Okay. Guys, do you have questions about the vocabulary, about the definition, the meaning of the words? Do you have doubts? Questions? Um, cuando dice el type, I don't know, remember. Ah, okay. Okay, it means to write in a digital way. Like right now, I'm typing in my computer. You type messages in your cell phone. Is, is this, right? Like this. Type is equal to write, but in an electronic way. Yes, Maricela? Electronic, computer, type. Cell okay. phone, you type. All right. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Everyone? No? Okay, now let's continue here. It says, figure it out. Select the correct form of the verb to complete the sentence. I'm going to go with number one. Let's, let's double check. What do you think, Nehemias and, and Katia? Number one. Type or types? Nehemias, Katia? Yeah, types. For you, types. types. And for you, types. Type. Type. Yes, that's the one. Thank you. Now, Rosy and Nelson, what do you think about number two? The question, do, do or does? Do. Rosy, do. Nelson, do. 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 Okay, Rafa and Jani, we have two votes for do. Rafa and Jani, what is your opinion? Rafa do. says does, does and do. Do is the winner, but that one is incorrect. <laughs> that is not the one. Does, does guys. Remember the version. We have two versions of simple present. She, she uses does. The correct option is das. But thank you, thank you for your comments. Now, Rene and Rina, number three. Arrive or arrives? What do you think? Arrive or arrives? Arrives. Arrives. And Rene, what do you say? Uh, arrive. Arrive. Okay, let's continue. Maricela and Marce, what do you think? Arrive. 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 No es. Okay, Mario and Alberto, what is your opinion? Arrive right. or arrives? Arrive. Arrive. Because, uh, I told we she with she. Okay, that is a, a good point. The correct option is arrive. Arrive. Uh -huh, arrive. When you ask a question, eliminate, remove, cancel the S. No S in questions. Questions or negative statements. Right option, the ones you see in pink. Okay, let's let's continue. I sent something. Oh, before, do you have questions? Do you have questions, guys? 
about that part? No? Okay, I have something that I'm going to read. I'm going to read a story. Try to imagine the story, okay? Traten de imaginar. Yo sé que tal vez no todas las palabras las conozcan, pero traten de ir captando la idea, okay? Try to imagine, try to understand or comprehend the information. Traten hasta donde puedan de comprender, okay? Lo que estamos, lo que vamos a, a tratar acá. Okay, so we have a conversation between two people, Rebecca and Garrett. So it says, so Garrett, what's your daily routine like? My routine is actually a little irregular. I have a different working schedule for each day of the week, but on a weekend, my son usually wakes me up about half eight, nine o'clock. And after that, we go downstairs and I get him some cereal, like he likes at the moment, chocolate rice krispies and he has a bowl of them and we watch toy story he loves buzz and woody every weekend the same movie exactly again and again and again yeah so we watch it a lot on weekdays though I usually wake up at 6 a.m. I have to go to work at 8. So I commute on the bus and train. And that takes me an hour and a half. It takes me a long time. And then I work. I get at home about 7. I have dinner with my wife. Usually, if I come home late, she waits and she'll have dinner with me. And sometimes she'll wait until like nine. Whoa. Yeah, pretty late. So it's really nice. Are you a morning shower person or a nighttime bath relaxed person? Yeah. So actually, I think I'm a kind of a night, a night owl. I work much better in the evening and I get more done. In the morning, I'm a little bit like a zombie. But these last years, working have kind of trained me to be an early bird, waking up so early as I do. I've kind of adapted to it, so, but I much prefer the evening. So, so you would come home from work. Oops, sorry, one moment. <laughs> okay, so you would come home from work and eat dinner and then like the bath and then take like the bath to calm down to go to bed at night? No, actually I prefer showers than baths, but yeah, I usually relax with my family and watch a movie or read a book. My son's really into Dr. Zio's books. They are classic children's book from back home and they are great, even for me. Like that's the good thing about having kids. You kind of get reattached to your and feel kind of nostalgic about your old activities. Like the things that you did when you were a child, a kid. Okay, now um, I need a volunteer, well, two volunteers to read this one last time. One boy and, and one girl. Do I have a volunteer, a man who would like to read it? Anybody? Yo. 
Marisela. Okay, you'll be Rebecca. And Gareth, is there a volunteer? No? <laughs> Nehemias, do you want to do it? Okay, let's go with, with Nehemias. But thank you for, for offering your help, Rafa. I appreciate it. Okay, so one, one more time. And again, guys, try to imagine. Try to imagine the situation. Okay, Maricela, you start, you are Rebecca. And try to read with feeling, okay? Okay, Maricela, go. But, um, Rebecca, so, Garrett, what's your day, darling routine like? My routine is actually a little irregular. I have a different working uh, schedule for each day of the week. But on um, a weekend, my son usually wakes me up about half eight, nine o'clock. And after that, we go downstairs and I get him some cereal. I like it like at the moment chocolate, rice crispy, and he has a bowl of then uh, and we watch Toy Story. He loves Buzz and Woody. Every, every weekend the sun movie? Exactly. Again and again and again. Yeah, so we watch it a lot on week, weekdays. So I usually wake uh, up at 6 a.m. I have to go to work at 8. So I con commute on the bus and train and that takes an hour and a half. I take a long time. And then I work, I get home about seven. I have dinner with my wife. Usually if I come home late, she waits and still have dinner with me. And sometimes she'll wait until like nine. Four. Yeah, pretty late. So it's really nice. Are you morning shower person or nighttime bar relaxed person? Relax. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, I think I am a king of night owl. I work much better in the evening and I get more done. In the morning, I am a little bit like a zombie, zombie, but these last years, working have him of training me to be an early beer, waking up too early. Uh, as I do, I can uh, adapt to it, to, but I much prefer the evening. So you work come home for for work and eat dinner and um, then they light the bath to come. Do don't to go to bed at night? No, actually I prefer showers than baths, but yeah, I usually relax with me family and watch a movie or read a book. My son's really into Dr. Theo's book, their classic Schindler's book from back home, and they are great, even for me. Like that's the good thing about having kids. You can of get rich, richer to you and feel keen of nostalgic about your old activity, like the things that you did when you were a shield. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for reading the story one, one last time. Because of the time, I won't be able, guys, to give you maybe the meaning of many words. But remember that I sent I sent the, the reading on the chat. So if you want to, you can you can look for them later on. But with the information that you have, we will try to answer the questions. Try to remember or check, check the reading okay, that you have. Question number one. Let's see. Tina. Marce and Mario, what do you think? He mentions what they eat, watch, or talk about. What do you remember? What do you think? Rina, Marce, and Mario, what is your opinion? What is the meaning of mention? Mencionar. Oh, what? Um, sorry. Eight. Eat. This one. Eight. This one, Mario. Four. Okay. Thank you. And you, uh, Marcel, repeat, please. What is your opinion? What? What they watch. Okay, thank you. And Alberto, what is the answer? It. It. Letter A. Letter A, okay, thank you. Katia, Katia and Rosy, what is your opinion? Mm, podrían ser it and watch. Mm -hmm. there, are two, there are two possible answers. So for you, eat and watch. Okay, and for you, Rosie, what do you think? Rosie, si me escucha. Eat, pensé que no había escuchado. Ah, no. Okay, thank you, Rosie. And that is correct. Okay, those two options are correct. He mentions what they eat and what they watch. Good choices. Number two, let me let me check here. Okay, Rafa, Nelson, and Jani, we start with you. What does he say about his routine? He takes public trans transport, he works nine hours, or he gets home late. What does he say about his routine? He takes public transport. Okay, thank you. And you, Nelson, what is your He opinion? gets home, home late. That he gets home late, all right. And... Jani, uh, he two. take he take public transport transport. Okay, thank you. Rene, what do you think? Rina, number two. He gets home late. But he gets home late. Okay, and you, Rina, do you agree? Sí, Sorry. Ah, okay. Okay. And the answer is correct. Okay. Letter A and C. They are good. So thank you very much. Let's continue. Maricela, Maricela, Marce and Nehemias. He says he prefers. Evenings or mornings? Mornings, remember. Maricela says mornings, Nehemiah's evenings. Okay. 
and Marce. Thank you, guys. What is your opinion? Morning. For you, mornings. Okay, thank you. One last option, Mario. What do you think? Evenings or mornings? Morning. Morning. Okay, thank yes. you. Alberto and you? He prefers evenings or mornings? Morning. Mornings. Okay, thank you. The right option is letter A, evenings. He prefers doing things in the night. And I can select it. And he mentioned, it's number one, but I can mark it. This is an owl. There is an expression, I como un dicho, that it's night owl. Y eso significa como alguien que, que es más de la noche que de la mañana. Y está um, early, early bird, que son para los que les gusta madrugar. Um, Nehemias, did you have a comment? No. Ah, okay. All right. Number four. Number four. Number four. Let's see. Mario, Alberto, and Katia. Mario, Alberto, and Katia. He says he usually takes a bath or a shower. Uh, a shower. For you, a shower. Okay. And Alberto, what do you think? It's a shower. A shower. Okay, thank you. And Mario? What do you think, Mario? Shower. Shower. Okay, thank you. And Rosy? Rosy and Nelson? Do you a have shower. A shower. And you, Nelson? A bath. A bath. Okay, thank you. And the right option is a shower. That is the correct option, a shower. But thank you for your comments. Now, last one. How does he feel about the books? How does he feel about the books? Rafa, Yanni, Rene, what do you think? There are two possible. In, in Espanol, feel, feel about. Como se siente? How does he feel about? Como que piensa de esos libros? Childish es como decir niñerías. No se me viene otro sinónimo, pero childish es como alguien que actúa como niño. Niñón, I don't know, but it's something like that. Nostalgic. Ajá, esa era. Thank you. Reattaching nostalgic. Reattach is like reconnected, como recon Nostalgic. reconectado, como que se siente que hay una connection. Y nostalgic, nostalgia. So what do you nostalgic. think? Nostalgic. For you, nostalgic. Okay, thank you. And nostalgic. for you, René, do you agree? Yeah. Rina? The same. Okay, it is Nostalgia. correct. The other option that is also correct is reattach. That is also, also correct or possible, okay? Okay, good job, good job. I know there are words you don't know, but I, however, I won't be able to, to give them to you. Pero sí, si ustedes quieren, pueden buscarlas, ¿verdad? Para que tengan más vocabulary, para que lo expandan. Okay, now let's continue with the grammar. We're going to learn about frequency words. I will share the presentation. One moment. Frequency expressions.
give me one moment because this is a little bit slow. Okay, so here you have the, the info. We're going to study different phrases that you can use to talk or to express frequency, okay? You are going to study or learn phrases, phrases, phrases that you can use to express the frequency or the regularity of your activities. Cómo expresar la frecuencia de las actividades que realizan. That is what we are going to study. The position, the position of the frequency expressions is at the end or at the beginning of the sentences. I'm going to mention it later again. The position, they can go at the beginning or at the end of the sentences. Number one, Nehemiah's could you read it, please? Sentence number one. I read a book every day. Uh -huh. I read a book every day. And you have the calendar. And everything is marked because you do it all the time, every day. Okay. And you, Nehemias, do you read a book every day? Uh, every day? No. No. You don't. Uh huh. Not me, not me, neither do I. Okay, Nehemias, thank you. Next, oops. So this is the second one. Alberto, can you read, please? Puede leerla. Can you read the sentence? I play the saxophone five uh -huh. uh, times a week. Five times, uh -huh. five times a week. The repetition, times. Five repetitions, the same uh -huh. time. That is what it means. Five repetitions, uh, that is times. I repeat the activity five, five times. And you have the calendar. One, oh, let me see. One, two, three times, four times, five times. Every week, every week, okay? Five times, one, two, three, four, five. I play the saxophone five times a week, a la semana, a week. Okay, next sentence, next sentence. Mario, can you read it? Rafa, do you have a question, Rafa? No. No, no question. Okay. Yes, Mario, continue, please. Mm, sorry, cinema. I go uh -huh, to the cinema. I go to the cinema a um, uh, month. Once. Mm -hmm. Once, Once a, month. a month. Thank you. The repetition of the activity, only one time, one repetition. Like today, today, August 20th, right? Okay, only one, one time. Guys, do you have a question in this moment? Is there something you would like to ask? Questions, preguntas in this moment? No, not right now. Okay, I will tell you more, okay? I have a little bit more to, to show you. Okay, next one. Marce, can you continue? Can you read the next sentence? I don't drink alcohol. Alcohol, yes. Thank you, Marce. No repetition, I don't. I don't drink alcohol. And you, Marce, do you drink alcohol? Not today, I don't no. drink alcohol. Mm, okay, all right, thank you. Okay, so no repetition. 
And here you have other, other ideas, some frequency expressions, if you want to take notes. Here you have other options. And then I will tell you, you have every other day, every other week, every other month, every other year. You can also use several, many, a few, a few times, a day, a week, a month. Okay, there are different options. Once, twice, two times, two repetitions, a day, once a week, once a month, once a year. From time to time. From time to time, de vez en cuando, that is like the way it will, it will go. From time to time will be de vez en cuando, from time to time. Once in a while, the last one, once in a while, una vez al tiempo, once in a while. I will give you a moment. I will give you a moment so you can take notes. Let me know when you, when you finish, please. Teacher, um, uh -huh. a few times a day is como muchas veces en el uh, día. The opposite, the opposite is, imagine this. I will try to explain in English. If not, I will tell you in Spanish. No problem. Okay, imagine this, this graphic. One, one moment. Okay. Uh, several and many are the same. Several is equal to many and it's equal to a lot. A lot. Okay, they have the same meaning the same meaning, they don't change, only different options. Several, many, and a lot. I, I, drank, I drink water several times a day. I drink water many times a day, or I drink water a lot of times a day. It's the same. Todas son lo mismo, okay. pero sinónimos. Mm -hmm. no, no. Okay. And a few, a few is, is like here, like over here. Imagine this is like 100% of the time. And over here is maybe like 30%, 30% of the time. Okay, so it's not a lot. It's not a lot, a few. A few times. What does it mean? It is not a lot of times. Okay. The opposite. Yes. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. You finish, guys. Did you finish taking notes? Yes. Okay. Do you understand? Do you have questions? I, I will give you more examples in a moment, but I want to know if you understand in this moment or if you have doubts. No, no doubts. 
Ok, let's, let's practice. Vamos a estar practicando. But I have to take the attendance antes que se me vaya más el tiempo. Uh, ok. Y ya les, ya les voy a dar más ejemplos para que vean cómo los vamos a, a utilizar. But, ok. Give me one moment. Ok. Daisy, Daisy, mezquita. No. Doris de Castaneda. Iris, Joana. Jennifer, Marcela. Present. Thank you. José Mario en Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Lisette del Carmen. Marisela del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Now, Mauricio, Mauricio Castaneda, Minet, Rivera, Nehemías, regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto en Nelson René. Present. Thank Present. You. Now, René en Rina. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Rosy and Vladimir. Present. Thank you. Janira Lisette. Present. Thank you. And then Zulma, Zulma Lopez. No. Teacher. Ajá. Rafa. No lo mencioné, Rafa. No. No, se me pasó. No. Wait, give me. Sorry. Present. <laughs> thank you, Rafa. Ah, okay, sí, aquí está. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's see. Vamos a utilizar el whiteboard. Okay, estamos hablando de frequency expression. ¿verdad? Palabras que pueden utilizar para hablar de la frecuencia con la que ustedes hacen algo. Okay, the position. The position. You have to options. You have two options. At the beginning or in the start, in the start or at the beginning or at the end in the final part, at the end of the sentence. Examples. I Go to the beach once in a while. One option. Option number two. Once in a while, comma, I go to the beach. Okay, it is the same, es lo mismo, it's the same, but you have two options. No in the middle, no in the middle, is incorrect, only at the beginning or at the end. Okay, here or here. Example number two. They play soccer from time to time to time. Option number one. Option number two. From time to time, comma, they play soccer. Option number two. The meaning is the same, guys. The meaning is the same. What is the difference? The comma. That's the only difference. We use a comma when we put it at the beginning. Okay, the comma. At the end, no comma necessary. Yes, that is the position. We will do, we will practice in this moment, we will start to practice. Do you have a question? Vamos a empezar a practicar ya, pero no sé si hay algo que aún no esté muy claro. Ustedes saben que pueden preguntar con confianza. No hay problema. Rina, 
questions? No? Questions, Rina? Una pregunta. Ajá, ya es Katia. Eh, sería de unificar eh, esas palabras, ¿verdad? Con el complemento. De... Ajá, se agregarían en el complemento. Solo es de, de colocarlo, ¿verdad? Y con, con el complemento. Ok. Ajá. Así mero. That is correct, Katia. Uh, any other questions? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to put something here. Um, one moment. Okay, so these are some activities or actions in here you have some some expressions. The same that I gave you, okay? The same that I gave you in the presentation in the slides. Oh, and guys, here in the book in the book you have like one or two more. I will show them to you. Give me just a second. Let's, let's wait a moment. Aha, uh -huh. okay, uh, no. I will scroll down a little bit more. Page 13, here you have another option, daily, weekly, or monthly, you can also use them. Esas también las pueden usar. Sería como diariamente, mensualmente, cada semana, pueden utilizar esas también. Esas también, hay muchas, okay, pero les estoy dando como las más comunes. Okay, so you have the expressions and you have activities. Think about you. Vamos a pensar en ustedes y aquí tienen las acciones. You have to elaborate the sentence. Tienen que elaborar ya su oración. Yo les voy a preguntar a algunos acá, pero ustedes están más que bienvenidos a enviar en el chat lo que ustedes piensan, ¿ok? So you can participate more. Pueden participar más. Y eso es lo que les va a ayudar, ¿verdad? A mejorar, practicar. Así que si pueden, mándenmelo en el chat. Okay, but we will start with, let me see, Rina. Rina, select one option, one activity, Rina, and tell me how often you do it. Y me dice que tan a menudo la hace. Choose the activity, escoja la actividad y la frecuencia. In your case. Es como una oración, ¿verdad? La que vamos a formar de la, ¿En qué frecuencia hacemos la actividad? Uh -huh. ah, por ejemplo, puede ser I play soccer once a week. Ajá, uh -huh. it is correct. Thank you. I work. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, but yes. <laughs> Lo siento que ahí la silencié. I thought you had finished. Uh -huh. I work every day. It is also correct. Uh -huh. I'm going to stop you, Rina. But yes, thank you for helping us. Now let's continue with uh, Rene. Choose one, one activity, Rene, and you tell me the frequency of the activity. All right, I'm gonna take one easy. Is check my cell phone. And that pretty much I do it every single day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Many times, I imagine. A day. Yeah, a lot of times. It's yeah. necessary sometimes, right? Because of work, because of different things. Okay. It Renee. is. It is. Thank That's you. Right. Now, yeah. Jani, choose choose one activity, Jani, and tell me the frequency of the activity. 
Uh, I I two I two activity jeans. Uh, no, una, no una, una de las de aquí, Jani. Escoja una actividad. Aquí solo tiene el verbo y el complemento, pero usted tiene que elaborar o estructurar toda la oración, Jani. Uh -huh. Acuérdese de la estructura que veíamos ayer, la del sujeto, el verbo, el complemento. Aquí falta el verbo, que uh -huh. sería I, right? Uh -huh. Ay, y ahora, ¿qué actividad escogería, Jani? I eh, go to the gym. I go to the gym. Ah, ok. I go to, uh -huh. I go to the gym. Uh -huh. eh, work. work. Eh, sorry, I go to the gym. Y ahora una frequency weekly. expression. Ah, weekly. With, mm -hmm. with. Weekly, Jani. Thank you. En Marce, I sent you a message. The sentence is correct, but you need the complement. Si dices five times, pero is it a week, a year, a month? Oh, and hay una que, que se me fue. Esta de acá donde dice every other. Every other day es como que digamos un día sí, un día no. That is every other day. I wash my hair every other day. One day I do it, one day I don't do it, one day I do it, one day I don't do it. Every other, y ustedes ya ponen el final. A week, a, a month, um, etc. Ok, Jani, thank you. Next one. Let's see, Rafa. Please choose one. Pick one activity. I work on, I work on weekends from time to time. From time to time. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Nelson, another one. Okay. Uh, once, once in a while, I stay, I stay home. Once in a while, I stay home. I stay home. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. That one is, is correct. And you, Nelson? Nelson René? Okay. I work in the computer every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nelson. Thank you. Let's continue, Maricel. Yo lo había hecho, I go to the movies. Uh, ah, la que mando en el chat. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ah, pero ahí falta que ponga algo más. I go to the movies, ¿cuántas veces a la semana? ¿O es toda la semana? No, una vez a la semana. ¿Qué palabra podría utilizar, Marisela? Para especificar, mm. porque ahí solo dice semana. Falta algo más todavía. Sería Para la repetición. To express repetition. One repetition, two repetitions. Mm. Esta palabra, Marisela. Hay two options. Once o one time. Esa es la que especifica. Si es una vez, es once. A week. Once a week, okay. Please repeat one more time. <clears throat> repeat your sentence, please, Marcela. I go to the movies once a week. Once a week, yes, and that's, that's correct. Okay, okay, thank you, Marcela. Let's go with uh, Nehemiah. Nemias, you have three options available, four options. Las mías? Uh, no, choose one. I read the one in the chat, esa ya la leí, but choose one here. 
de las que no han sido marcadas aún. Eh, Blood, ¿cuál es el significado? Which one? ¿De cuál? Eh, before activity. Ah, uh, uh, the flute. Flauta. Yes. Tocar la flauta. Mm -hmm. Ok. I play the flute. Mm, never. Never. Ah, ok. Esos creo que los vamos a ver más adelante, pero ese va así, ese sí va en medio. I never play, play the flute. Or okay. I don't play the flute. Ok, Nehemias, thank you. Let's see, Katia, you have three options. Go to the movies, watch TV, or listen to music. I don't hear you, Katia. <laughs> Perdón. Uh -huh. este, en el chat mandé from time to time I watch TV. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. And it is correct. Now, Mario, you have two options. Go to the movies or listen to music. Listen. I listen to music every day. Every day. Uh -huh, me too. Okay, Mario, thank you. And Rosy, number one, go to the movies. What is the frequency? Um, sería, I go to the movies every week. Every week. Okay, that's very regular. Thank you, Rosy. Okay, so that's the way it works. Lo vamos a ver más adelante, pero por si acaso quieren saber ya, si quieren preguntar, creo que Katia ayer preguntaba esto. La pregunta es how often, how often y ya luego ya la, la manera normal. Do you go to the movies as an example? Solo colocan how often at the beginning y ya con eso ya la persona entiende que es algo de la frecuencia. How often do you watch TV? How often does he watch TV? Y ya contestan con una palabra de, de frecuencia. But we will check it later on. También se va a ver un poco más, más adelantito. Okay, so it's time to work in pairs. We are going to work in pairs. I'm going to divide you. And... This activity is similar to the one that we did yesterday. Okay, it's similar to yesterday's activity. You have to elaborate five questions about your classmate. Van a elaborar cinco oraciones sobre su compañero. You are going to elaborate five sentences about your classmate. And you have to imagine or suppose the frequency of the activities. Van a suponer o a imaginar la frecuencia de las actividades. Okay? Van a hacerlo igual que el de ayer, pero ahora van a agregar frequency words. Van a suponer, like Katia. Okay, I can say Katia goes to the office every day. Como que yo diga esa afirmación sobre ella, sobre la frecuencia que va a la oficina o a su trabajo. Y ya luego Katia me va a corregir. Si estoy mal, me va a decir, no, I never go. No, I work from home. ¿Verdad? No sé si, si se recuerdan los que estaban ayer acá. Si, si entendemos. Y los que no. Marce, Marisela, Mario. Do you understand? Si me entienden lo que tienen que hacer. Or not yet. Todavía no. Not yet. Yes. Todos. Yes, we understand. Okay, five sentences, each other. Piensan primero y luego que las tengan, las, se las dicen. Okay, let me, let me divide you here. Let me see. Okay, Mario. Mario, today you are going to work with Marcela. 
And then, let's see, Katia work with Rene. And then, let me see, Nelson and Nelson. Okay, Nelson Alberto and Nelson Rene, you're going to work together. And then Rafa, okay, work with Rina. Work with Rina this time. Maricela, work with Rosy. And then Nehemias, this time you work with Jani, with Janira. Okay, please um, accept the invitation, please. Katia, do you hear me? Sí, me, me sacó. Me sacó. <laughs> ok, oh. con René estaba trabajando, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Ok, Le, déjenme ver aquí. Ok, room two. Ok, Katia, ahí está la invitación. Hi. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hello, please. Hello. Yes. Marce, y tiene un nuevo look, ¿verdad? No, teacher, no. es de mi cuento. Ah, verdad, yo, yo la veo distinta. Ah, ok. Uh, so, tell me, what, what's up? ¿Qué pasó? No, ent no entendimos por qué usted dijo que a los de ayer le añadiéramos a la <risa> Ah, no. ok. Sí, no, no se preocupen. Ok, lo que tienen que hacer es hacer afirmaciones o deducciones sobre su compañero. En este caso, Marce, tú tendrías que hacer cinco oraciones sobre Mario. Como que yo diga, Mario goes to the beach from time to time. Y cuando yo lea a mí, después que las hayan hecho las cinco, van a, a decirlas, como que tú le digas a él, ok, Mario, you go to the beach from time to time. Si es así, Mario va a decir que it's correct, pero si está mal, Mario va a corregir la información. Ya va a decir, I go to the beach every Sunday. Eso es lo que van a hacer. Y luego Mario lo mismo contigo. Va a hacer cinco um, ¿qué era? conclusiones, deducciones sobre ti. Y ya tú le dirás si está bien o no. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. okay. Pero traten de utilizar frequency expressions, ¿verdad? Que esas son las que estamos practicando. Ok, anything else I could help you with? No, creo que. Oh. Ok, si sí, no, ahí me llaman de nuevo y yo aquí regreso. Ok, see you in a moment. Bye. Y ahí es, es seguir haciendo casi lo mismo, solo que también. Hi, sorry to interrupt. How are you guys doing? ¿Qué tal les está yendo? Eh, bien. bien, ahorita Good. formulando. <laughs> Do you need my help? No sé si tienen alguna duda que quieran que les aclare. Como es de suposiciones, uh -huh. yo voy a suponer de Nehemías algo, hago la, hago la oración. Él me uh -huh. va después a confirmar si sí o no. Ajá, confirmar Me va a dar la corregir. respuesta. Si, 
O corre, corregir, ajá, ajá uh -huh. corregir si sí o no. Yes, lo mejor ah, sería okay. que ya que hayan hecho todas las oraciones, ya luego solo platiquen, ¿verdad? Para que no vayan deteniéndose. Y sí, ah, okay. así sería, como que yo dijera, Nehemías goes to the beach from time to time. If that is correct, he will say yes, from time to time. Mm -hmm. Or, uh -huh. no, I go to the beach every other week. Okay, ahí va a utilizar él también las expressions. Ah, Ajá. Uh -huh, la okay. expression. Okay. okay, so in that case, I'll let you continue. And if you need me, I'll, I'll come back. Okay, so okay. see you in a moment. Bye. Okay. Hi, Katia. Hi, Rene. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Doing just Do fine. Need, doing well. Do you need my help? Any clarification, doubt, clarificaciones, um, dudas, quejas, complaints? No? No, I think that we are fine. Just, All right. just to see here, um, when I mention every day is kind of, I mean, for me is that is something that we do every uh -huh. single day without uh -huh. an exception. Uh, for example, in my case, I say that Katya takes a shower every day. Mm -hmm. So with that statement, I am I affirm that she are taking a shower every day so mm -hmm. for me it's, 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 that's it's, what you mean that that's that way uh -huh. uh, is there's there is another way to say it or, or it is actually the correct one because i see every every severe many but uh, no, in that one doesn't doesn't really apply because several is like many times, many repetitions. Repetitions, okay. So the other okay. option that you could use could be daily, every day or daily. That is also okay. the same. Or another one, I didn't give you that, but there are many, there are many, but you can get use all the time. All the, All the time. time will express or indicate the same. Uh -huh. okay. But for me, all the time is something that we we do on, on, on all the mm -hmm. time. I, I don't yeah, know. Like, I guess like depending a on the way you say <laughs> it. Uh -huh. So yeah, in that case, you can go with we, uh, daily or every day. Could be every maybe day. the most appropriate words. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, and you, Katia, are you okay? Um, solo esperando para decirla. Ah, okay, perfect. A ver si están bien. Okay, ¿verdad? ajá, entonces hacen la, la conclusión y ya René corrige o, o confirma. Y lo mismo contigo, una a una, one and one. Son okay. five. Okay, um, I'm going to let you continue in that case because I have to check other pairs. So I'll see you in a moment. Bye. Sure. Thank you. Una vez al tiempo dijo que era. Hi. Una vez al tiempo. Hi, Sorry teacher. to interrupt. Hi. Guys, is there something I can help you with? Do you need help? Eh, aquí vamos, más o menos. <laughs> okay. Y Maricela? No sé si necesita ayuda o tiene dudas. Aquí me está orientando ya la compañera. Ah, okay. eh, estábamos, haciendo, estábamos haciendo el ejemplo de como el eh, Do you watch TV every day? Y respondíamos ah. como Yes, I watch TV every day. Um, pues no es así exactamente, es más una afirmación, Marisela, no, no preguntarle, solo usted dice lo que piensa que ella hace, como que yo diga que ella va a la playa de vez en cuando, yo digo, Rosy, or you go to the beach from time to time, Rosy va a confirmar o corregirme, y ya ella va a decir, ah, no, I go to the beach every week or every Sunday. Es en forma de afirmación. Ay, 
Y nosotros lo estábamos haciendo como en forma de pregunta. Ah, en, Ajá, en forma de hecho, yo, La otra que ella me dijo, vaya, te voy a preguntar, ¿you listen to music from to time? From y, yo time le, to ajá. Time? y yo le decía, no, I listen to music every day. Eso está bien porque no lleva el do, Marisa. No lleva el do. Si era, pensaba que era pregunta, no era pregunta, era afirmación. Ajá, porque, porque sí. la, otra que, la otra que hicimos ahorita, yo le decía a ella, you work in the computer many times. Ajá, esa tampoco es pregunta, es una afirmación. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Y ella me decía, no, I work in the computer, eh, ¿cómo sería? ¿Una vez al día? Once a day. Once, Once day. a day. Ah, pues sí, entonces ah, sí, pues sí. bien. Sí, solo no, que no, no se pregunta. Ajá, no, solo que no se pregunta. Mal. No nos andamos tan perdidas. Ah, ok. <risa> ok, bueno, well, I'm ver. going to check the other, the other first, pero si me necesitan, ahí está el botón para que yo venga. Ok. Ok, so see you in okay. a moment. Thank Bye. you. Are you working? Eh, ser, ah, sería entonces. O todos los días, ¿verdad? Hi, okay. guys. How are you guys doing? Hello. 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 ¿Qué tal van? Bien. Ese silencio. Me voy a quedar un ratito si quieren. No sé si necesito. Por eh, ejemplo, eh, cuando le digo trabajas, eh, trabajas eh, toda la semana, puedo decir, are you working every week? No, solo so, you work every week. You work every week. You work. Porque la estructura es solo sujeto, verbo y complemento. Solo eso. You work every week week y ya él va a decir no I work every y ya, aunque me imagino que sí porque es obvio verdad casi todos lo hacemos así pero ajá, o si yo digo usted va a la playa de vez en cuando you go to the beach from time to time si es así me va a decir correct or affirmative pero si fuera negativo tal vez me diría no, I go to the beach every Sunday. Y ya usted utiliza otra expresión de tiempo. Pero solo necesita el sujeto, Alberto, y el verbo. En su forma base. You y el verbo. Verbo, okay. no complemento. Nada más. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. Anything else? Ahorita, ¿verdad? Vamos comenzando. Si quiere, porque eso lo estuvimos repasando ayer, yo le puedo mandar ahí unas, unas imágenes que tienen la información del de simple, simple present para que le ayude a refrescar la estructura. De acuerdo, yo me agradecería mucho que me las envíe, no hay ningún problema. Ok, yo se las envío mañana. Mañana se las mando ahí. Es una buena idea, no hay problema. Ok, so, do you need anything else? No sé si tienen alguna otra duda. Eh, pues por el momento creo que no, solo vamos a ir aclarando ideas poco a poco. Ok, ajá, y ayúdense, ¿verdad? Unos al, al okay. otro. Ok, okay. I'm going to let you continue. A las 9.40 regresamos. 9.40, in two minutes. Okay. See you in a moment. Bye. Ok. Hi, Rafa. Hi, Rina. Hi, Sorry to interrupt. Is there something I can help you with? Do you have questions? Do you need help? Justamente, terminamos de, de hacernos las... Terminando, van. Ah, ok, perfecto. A las 9.40 regresamos, así que ya en unos segunditos yo, yo voy a enviar ahí la notificación. O también ahí creo que ya les da la opción, si quieren volver al, al main room. Sí, da la opción de regresar. Ah, así que ya, ya podemos ir regresando. ¿Todo bien? No sé si tienen alguna. Todo bien. Todo bien. Solo la, la respuesta, teacher. Ajá. Eh, por ejemplo, ella me preguntaba eh, si juego eh, fútbol los fines de semana. Uh -huh. eh, no, I don't. 
o no uh, I play soccer? Pues, si no, ajá, no, I don't. ¿Verdad? Si es en forma de pregunta. Do you play soccer? Every... No, es en forma de, de oración afirmativa. Como que dijera, you play soccer on the weekends. Ajá, yes. ahí sería, no, I don't play soccer on the weekends. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's go back there. It's time to, to go back. Uh, hi guys, welcome back. I hope you were able to finish. So guys, we will continue practicing a little bit more, but now we will use the book. And I don't know if there is something that you would like to ask. No sé si les surgió alguna duda después that you would like to ask. No. Okay, we will continue practicing. And we are going to use questions. Vamos a hacer preguntas para hacerlas a, a nuestros classmates. So this is what we will do right now. You are going to, hoy sí va a ser una pregunta. Y aquí sí podemos utilizar el how, how often, ¿verdad? Porque estamos practicando frequency. How often? Y luego ya la pregunta que ustedes quieran hacer. The activity. How often do you eat pupusas? As an example. And you choose the activity. Ustedes escogen el verbo, ¿verdad? Lo, y el complemento. And the answer. I eat pupusas. Every week, every week, as an example, you, you have to elaborate about five questions, five questions, and then we will ask each other. Luego nos vamos a preguntar. We will ask each other. If it's possible, send it to me by chat. Si pueden, mandenlas sus preguntas todas en el chat para que yo pueda ver cómo las elaboraron. Please. If not, in your notebook. Si no, en su, en su notebook. Okay, I'll give you time. I'll give you a moment to do it. Teacher. Yes. El of, el hop of, este, of. How often? Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería como... ¿Cuándo haces o qué haces? Es como qué tan frecuente. Queremos saber de qué, pero qué no, tan a menudo. ¿Mm? Pero no, no siempre podemos poner off, sino que podemos ocupar lo, lo, lo que usted nos dijo hace un ratito. On time, for, Ajá, for time to time. Correct. Uh, no. Para preguntas, how often. Para preguntas. Ah, ok. Para respuesta, ahí sí es opcional. Depende de qué quiera decir uno. Ah, ah ahí me había perdido. Oh, está bien. Mm. Bueno. Ok. Bueno. okay. Mario, I, I sent the invitation in the chat. No sé si Mario vio la, la invitación para que se una al grupo. Mm, sorry, ¿cuál grupo? Here, en el chat. Ahí está el, el... Lo mandé a las 8.27. Solo que creo que no lo puedo volver a... No puedo volverlo a enviar, pero... A las 8.27 está ahí el, el link. Para que... Te nos unas ahí al grupo. Me sale vacío el chat. Ah, ok. I'm going to send it again in that case. Um, 
Ok, hold on a moment. Ya en un momentito te lo, te lo envío ahí de nuevo. Thank you, Nehemias. Mario, okay, it's it's there now. It's in the chat. Marce, are you there? Marce, is it possible for you to, to stay today in the session? Your private session, the 10 minute session, Marce? No, teacher, hoy no puedo, tengo que you aceptar. Can't. Okay, and you, Mario, is it possible for you to stay tonight? Mario, ¿tú te puedes quedar ahora? Eh, creo que no, Ticho. No. Que es que ahora le toca a... Quiero ver... A Doris. Le toca a Doris, but she's not here. Or is there anybody? No sé si hay alguien, un volunteer, who would like to stay today. Nelson, Hello. Nelson Albert. Yes. Okay, all right. So we continue. Okay, guys, do you have some questions? Creo que ya tienen algunas, verdad? Algunas preguntitas. In in about three minutes, two minutes, we start. We start asking each other. Teacher, una consultita, el, el how many o how often es similar. No, no es diferente. No. Es totalmente different. Different. Ajá, nada que ver. How many es para cuánto, pero de cantidad. ¿Cuánto? Uh, Como no de, de contar cosas. Ajá, no de frecuencia. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, for example, how often do we use in question? Is so how often solo lo vamos a preguntar? O sea, how often lo vamos a utilizar nada más solo en en uh, preguntas? Uh -huh. Yes. Igual no podemos preguntar con mis compañeros. Eh, entiendo que how how many is para contar? How much es lo que cuánto cuesta en plata, verdad? How much? Uh, uh -huh. depending on the context. How much and how many viene en el programa de este nivel? Creo que la otra semana lo vamos a estudiar más, si no me equivoco. Ajá, but yeah, no son para la frecuencia. De acuerdo. Ok, I guess we can start. Vamos a, a comenzar ya. So let me see, Nehemias, is it? Possible for you to start with one of your questions? Uh, two questions. You have two. Okay. Choose yes. one 
and choose one person. Escoja a alguien para preguntarle. You can look at the uh, participant staff. Okay, uh, Nelson René. Nelson René, okay. Uh, how often do you walk to work? Repeat, please. Uh, how often do you walk to work? Walk. Walk. Walk, walk. Nelson. Um, I, I work. Uh, yeah. I never work. You never walk. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, that's that's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nehemias. Good question. I will stop you now. Nelson, do you have one question? No sé si usted ya tiene una. Okay, yes. choose yes. one person. Uh, Rafael, um, how, how often do you go to gym? Um, I never, never go to gym. <laughs> never. Okay. Never. <laughs> I don't go to the gym either. Okay. Thank I love you. pupusas. You love pupusas, <laughs> but not the gym. <laughs> okay. Okay. But it's necessary. Por lo menos por salud yeah, se yeah. supone, right? <laughs> we have to. Okay. Rafa, continue, please. Okay. Yes, Nehemiah. Just one moment, Rafa. Uh, teacher. Hmm? Uh, what is different in, from time to time and once in a while? From time to time is like de vez en cuando. Once mm -hmm. in a while, una vez al tiempo. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it, they are different. Yes, Rafa. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, Katia? Mm -hmm. And how often do you read a book? Mm -hmm. um, I read a book. Está bien. The... I don't read a book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can say I don't read or I never. I never read books. No, no le gusta. Muy aburrido. Uh, no tengo tiempo. Ah, you don't have time. Okay. Okay, Katia, thank you. Now it's your turn. Choose another person, please. Mm, Maricela. Okay. Uh, how often do you read the newspaper? Um, no, I don't. No, I don't read it. <laughs> you don't read the newspaper. No. no, nunca. You never um, do it. Sería uh, de vez. Ah, from the time. Way. From time to time. De vez en cuando. From time to time. Ah, yes, from time like. to time. Uh huh. Okay. Good Think question. Mm -hmm. Now it is your turn, Maricela. Choose one person for the question. Um, Rina. Um, how often go to the beach? Do you go? How ah. often do you go? How often do you go to the beach? I go to the beach. Um, bueno, por el momento. <laughs> ya van como dos años, ¿verdad? Que no he ido, pero... <laughs> um, many... Many, many times, muchas veces. Oh. Many times, y luego tiene que complementar ese many times, porque puede ser a week, a year, a month. Um, sí, um, many times. Um, 
Monto. Monto. Ajá. Ok, now Rina, please continue. Um, tengo que seleccionar a alguien. Ajá. A ver. Um, René, Elberto. Uh -huh. How many times do you work on the computer? Um, how often? How often? Uh, pretty much every single day. Every single day. Uh -huh. En esa esa manera de contestar que usó René es como para hacer más énfasis si la quisieran utilizar. Every single day es como un realce de que es todos los días. Every single day. So it's, it's another possibility mm -hmm, that you can use. Okay, thank you. Guys, I'm just going to take the attendance and then we continue. Please remember to say present. So Daisy, Yesenia, no. Doris de Castaneda, Iris, Joana, Jennifer, Marcela, present. Jose Mario, present. Katia, Gabriela, Lisette del Carmen, thank you. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Mario Castaneda, Minet Rivera, Nehemías, Regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto, Nelson René. Present. Rafael Antonio, thank you. Present. All right, René. Rina, present. Present. Rosy, Melendez, Vladimir, present. thank you. Yanira, Cepeda, present. And Zulma. Okay, thank you. All right, let's continue. Uh, Rene, please go on. Choose one of your classmates that hasn't been selected. Alguien que todavía no le haya, no le haya tocado. Ok, let's gonna see. Vamos a ver quién se está escondiendo. Uh, Jennifer. Ok, Jennifer. Um, how often do you take vacations? That's a good question. She's thinking about the best, the best frequency expression. I take vacations. Aquí sería teacher every year o como se dice una vez al año? Every year or once a year. Uh, once a year. I or one that. time a year también. Mm -hmm. uh, just guys, remember the pronunciation, the pronunciation of that word, uh, vacations. That is the, the right way to say it, vacations. Marce, it's your turn. Please continue. Someone who hasn't been asked. We have Jani, Mario, Nelson, Alberto, Rosy, Mario. Okay. <laughs> Mario, how often, often do you go to the gym? Yes, hmm. it's true, go to the gym every week. <laughs> Every week. Mm, okay. Now, Mario, it's your turn. You still have Jani, Rosy, Alberto. Hey, just activate the microphone, Mario, please. Mario. Uh -huh. You have Jani, Rosy, 
or Albert? Jani. Okay. Jani, question for you. How often do you talk English? Mm -hmm. Ahí sería mejor speak. Cuando hablamos de languages, utilizamos más speak. How okay. often do you speak English? Jenny, how often do you speak English? The microphone, Jenny. Please. No. 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 Eh. Oh, se me acaba de olvidar. Mm -hmm. Oh. Which one? No. With with them. with them. How often do you speak English? Ah. La frecuencia de hablar English. Eh, no. I no. You have to say no. I speak no, I English. I speak English with. Weekly. Uh -huh. Weekly. Weekly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Because of the time, we will stop here because I will have my session with Nelson in this moment. But thank you for coming to the class. Now, today is Friday, so no classes tomorrow, right? Until Monday. Okay. To, to have, well, I'll see you again on Monday, guys. Do you have questions before you go? No sé si tienen alguna duda antes que se vayan. No? Si no, ahí me la mandan en el grupo, ¿ok? Remember the, uh, la, la platform de hacer su tarea diaria para que no se les vaya a atrasar. Ok, guys. You guys are dismissed. You can go ahead and, and sleep if you do that. Sweet dreams. Goodbye. See you on Monday. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Goodbye, Goodbye. everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Hey, See take you care, guys. On Monday. See you on Monday. Thank you, Rene. Bye bye. One moment, Alberto. Solo vamos a esperar que sus compañeros se retiren y ya, ya comenzamos. Okay, Nelson. First of all, welcome. Bienvenido a su curso en Safor. ¿Qué tal se ha sentido? Solo que ahorita no le oigo. Hoy sí. Thank you, teacher. Uh, um, I'm very happy because, uh, de hecho, um, estaba un poco preocupado. Ya eh, pues estuve eh, cuestionando a algunos compañeros suyos. Really? Bueno, ¿Por qué? Porque igual, en el grupo que estaba anteriormente, eh, uh -huh. Digamos, algunos, pues, algunos se defraudaron, otros cayeron y al final nos tuvieron casi un mes eh, como abandonaditos. Ah. Eh, les decía, ¿qué pasó? ¿Hay fecha nueva o qué? Y ah, me decía, ah. eso lo me daba como falsas esperanzas. Uh -huh. Pero al final, pues, eh, ya lograron tener lo que es el el digamos el número eh, el número requerido de participantes uh -huh. ya la, la fecha nueva pues y qué bueno yo me siento bien la verdad un poquito apagadito no le voy a mentir eh, pues creo que es un poquito de confianza eh, me falta un poco más de confianza y quizás hablar eh, bueno de hecho la mayoría del grupo son nuevos pero esto como que uh -huh. se va agarrando paso a paso sí. ya cuando nos vamos acostumbrando a nuevo teacher eh, uh -huh. nuevo, eh, ya vamos agarrando, nos vamos soltando uh -huh. poco a poco. Y pues ya como que así, eh, vamos extrañando lo que vamos dejando atrás, pero... Sí, eh, se siente que, raro al principio, ¿verdad? Exacto, pero uh -huh. creo que sí, vamos a aprenderse todo un poco y creo que es uh -huh. eh, como la, la forma de cómo todos lo vean, eh, la forma de cómo todos quieren participar. Eh, de hecho, uh -huh. usted, usted como una buena guía, creo que... Eh, pues lo poco que le he visto en estas dos horas, eh, me gusta la manera como desarrolla la clase, tiene como sus, el as bajo la manga, como enseñarle, uh -huh. pues, todo teacher tiene su manera diferente, uh -huh. yeah. eh, diferente. Sí. y pues, pues la verdad es que me siento bien, eh, oh, okay. no puedo así como que, bueno, algunas cosas las voy agarrando poco a poco, eh, pues también tengo como la, la esperanza también de agarrar, agarrarlo todo, esa es la misión, ¿no? Yes. Como una, uh -huh. 
Esa es como una, una ambición personal. Eh, tomar todo lo que, lo que se escuche, eh, todo lo que se vea, tomar apuntes, uh -huh. eh, porque a veces hasta es necesario tomar hasta los apuntes innecesarios para... Lo innecesario se vuelve necesario eh, para poder lograr a veces lo que uno quiere, ¿no? Uh -huh. Entonces, Correct. a veces, eh, no, quizás no podemos como estudiar años atrás porque eh, a veces el tiempo como que no nos da la oportunidad como dicen, en muchas ocasiones tenemos, tenemos el dinero, pero no tenemos el tiempo. Y cuando tenemos el tiempo, no tenemos el dinero. Y en esta, mm -hmm. pues, gracias a, digamos, al apoyo de Instacor y, y, digamos, en el corporativo que estamos, ahorita pues, creo que es, es el momento de, de poner de todo un poquito. Así que, oh, de mi bien. parte, creo que más darle el agradecimiento. Ya que no pude estar el día de ayer igual, porque tuve eh, problemas con conexión. Eso me pasa ah, que, pero sí me gusta estar bastante pendiente sobre los videos, eh, los, las videoconferencias eh, perdidas. Me gusta estar pendiente también con las tareas. Y bueno, creo que poco a poco okay. va a conocer. Como, tanto, sí, eh, poco, ya, ya lo veo un poco eh, más suelto. Al principio sí sentía ajá, que estaba así como seriecito, ajá, como tímido, decía, pero ya va. Ya está un poco. Tanto de mí y de los demás compañeros. Ajá. Creo que eso es como... A veces falta de confianza y, y hay más. Ah, pena. Pero sí, ya va a ver que ya en unos días ya todo el grupo se va a ir adaptando un poco más. Sí, Estaba claro, pensando, sí. aprovechando de que nos tocaba la sesión, Nelson, que podíamos sí. revisar lo que le iba a mandar, lo que le iba a mandar por, por sí. WhatsApp, lo de okay. las versiones sí. de Simple Present, porque ajá, cuando uno deja de practicarlo, se le olvida, se olvida el inglés. Así que es bueno como repasar. Ok, so I'll give you my explanation, Nelson. And if you have a question, let me know. Here you have the information about simple present. First of all, the use, how to use simple present. We use simple present to talk about regular activities, traditions, or habits. Si usted quiere expresar cualquiera de esos puntos, utilice Simple Present. Ok, sí, para puede. regular activities, traditions, habits, customs. Para eso utilizamos Simple Present. Ahora, Simple Present tiene dos versiones. O hay como dos maneras de utilizarlo. It depends on the subject. Depende del sujeto que esté utilizando, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, está este, estos objects, they, we, you, I, or plural nouns, cuando son dos o más, animals, people, anything, si hay dos o más, tiene que utilizar la versión do. And here you have the formula. Aquí está la estructura que hay que utilizar obligatoriamente. It's mandatory. You have to use subject. Verb and complement, que era lo que le mencionaba cuando entré a, a su breakup room. Okay. Esta es la estructura, Nelson. So, you have to say, I call my customers. I have meetings. Uh -huh. The negative form sería utilizar do, pero hay dos maneras. Está do not, ¿verdad? Do not. O la contraction, that is the same, don't. Negative form, I don't go to church. I don't eat pupusas. Okay, okay. so you have the negative structure. Esa es la versión uno, ¿verdad? The do. If, for example, I don't, I don't forget the, the simple present. Because mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, simple present is only subject uh, plus verb uh, mm -hmm. plus plural complement. Okay. Correct. Uh -huh. uh, you need the structure. I remember, uh, I remember uh, only one class. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no. Yo recuerdo la, las clases, al menos en, este, en la versión número uno, no la, no la, o sea, no la olvido. Ah, ok. Hasta, hasta, hasta me ponía una canción como usando el, el presente, <risa> el motivo y el, el question. Ah, ok. Es más, entonces la versión 2, por decirlo así. 
Ajá, Quizás. Correcto. Ajá. La version 2 es la de das. Ese es el auxiliar. La fórmula varía un poquito. Que el verbo ahora va a llevar una S. Eso es lo que cambia. Dependiendo del subject. En este caso sería he, she, it. Sí. En singular nouns. Cuando solo hay uno. Excepto hay. Que hay, aunque es uno, queda en el otro grupo. En la otra versión. Ok. Ahora, entonces, esta estructura sería así. Javier, only one person, right? Watches movies at night. Javier plays uh -huh. with my friends. Y la versión negativa ya lleva el do, perdón, el das, pero en su forma negativa. El verbo se mantiene intacto, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero aquí, como mencionábamos antes, le vamos a remover la S. She doesn't sleep in the afternoon. She doesn't drive a car. No es. Y para, pregun para pregunta, lo mismo. Ponemos das al principio, solo lo montamos para que las personas sepan que es una pregunta. Y le quitamos la S. Does she live with her grandpa? Does is only third person. Ajá. Yes. Only and do for the other one. Ajá. Correct, Nelson. Entonces, aquí tiene las dos versiones. Pero si usted gusta, igual lo puedo mandar ahí al grupo. O a, a usted personalmente. Y ya usted tiene esa. O le tomo una captura de pantalla. Para que ahí tenga, que, ¿verdad? Eh, ahorita mismo lo que pienso hacer es igual tomarle una fotografía, solo que uh -huh. nada más. No, okay, quiero un segundo. Yes. Estamos, estamos uh -huh. ready. Ok, save it. Para, porque como usted menciona, ya lo había visto antes, pero al dejar pasar el tiempo a veces se le medio olvida. Solo hay medio que no, verlo no, para no, ya uno ya no, no, volverlo a agarrar. Uh -huh. Nelson. Okay, so for the moment we will stop here, but on Monday I'll see you again. Espero que, que pueda eh, unirse a la clase el lunes para que verdad sigamos yeah, okay. ahí aprendiendo. Okay, Nelson, a pleasure to have you here. I hope you enjoy the weekend. See you on Monday Me in too. that case. Bye bye. Happy weekend. Bye bye. Thank you.